What's going on? Nicole Hedge, GKM Gaming here with another LEGO Legacy Heroes unboxed video for you. And today, I'm doing another run through the arena. And we're not talking about Magistos Tower teams, we're talking about Ice Station Odyssey. So, there's a bit of a quest going on, a bit of a time quest called Elite Champion. I've only won two battles because I stink. But, there is an Elite Champion quest going on, so you are behooved to win arena battles with space heroes. I am going to try to clear all 20 arena battles within the next one day at 22 hours. So I can get five extra Kartowski tiles, which I mean, it doesn't seem like much, but you know what? It'll go away in getting Kartowski leveled up for my brainy kids all-star event. So I really want to, and I've been wanting to, I was talking to Fancy Matt about it, uh, build a team around Ice Station Odyssey. So let's take a look at my Ice Station. Right, I got five, two, five, five. So the only one I don't have really leveled up too much is this Brain Freeze ability. Eh, I just think it's not that good. Uh, when a hero inflicts stun, they have a 35% chance to inflict some stacks of damage over time. I just don't think it's worth the recess resources. Uh, you know... If they inflict Stun or Dizzy on level 5, they have a 65% chance to inflict one stack of damage over time. If it was three stacks, I might put the resources into it, but maybe eventually. I got this Orbital Targeting, which is an anti-stealth ability maxed out, right? So there's a 30% chance to gain accuracy up for Ice Planet heroes when they use a special ability. And for one turn each, and there's a 40% chance to lose stealth. That a foe has a chance to lose stealth, so that's pretty good. So I do, I am going to be using my Iced Planet figures. This is obviously the best ability. Whenever they attack a foe with Dizzy, there's a 40% chance to convert all stat and heal based buffs to debuff equivalent. That's pretty good. And this is the big one. Space heroes have a 20% speed increase. Chill heroes have a 20% skill increase. And all other heroes have their defense increased by 10%. So that's going to be really good with the team that I am running right now. So as you see, we're 25 in arena. We've got some climbing to do. And let's start with the old classic Bucks and Woo team. And this is what I'm using. I got everybody is gear 7, 7 star, except Magisto. He's 6 star. I really like Quincy for this team because I think that his first special where it gives the buff immunity is really key against basically all these teams. He kind of makes makes up for the fact that we don't have a buff clear. Now I'm using Magisto as the fifth. Zane is also a possible fifth, uh, but then you're, you're going very, very chill, uh, which is, is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, Aurora is another possible fifth if you're really looking for a revive and some big heals. But I think with Quincy, and with Magisto, there's enough heals, especially against a pirate team. I think Kelvin's going to help us out. With, see, that's already bad. So we're already in a bad position because we didn't get that uh, buff immunity. But, you know, it is what it is. And at least now we know... Uh, what's his name? Redbeard is not going to be countering us to high heck. I'm going to heal Quincy because he's my guy. We're going to go right back after. You know, do I want to go after Redbeard? You got to go after Redbeard, but Wu is another big one you want to go after as well. Let's see if we can make this work. I'm going to go for the, the buffs now. Get everybody with a little bit of defense up. Get a big hit on Redbeard. Proc that taunt. Not going for that just yet. I'm going to get a little bit of a heal gun from Quincy. Just to give Magisto a little bit of extra. You know what? We're going to give him some extra defense too. Because he's got to last. Alright. We've got Redbeard down to half. And now we get thrashed by Master Wu. Which is what we didn't want to happen. But... At least we got took care of Red Bad. Wu is a pretty big threat, but honestly, somebody who's run pirates for a really long time, I can tell you that after Redbeard, Hank, 
is the big mamma jamma you really got to take care of. All right, our dis, uh, disarm is off. So we wait till the second turn that we can use Magisto's ult to try to get that those AoE dizzies. Didn't work, but you always want to do that because you want to follow it up with, bam, Yeti's ult. Now, if you can get a lot of dizzies up, it's really, it's actually huge when you can get a lot of digis up, dizzies up and follow it up with Yeti's ult. But that's okay. He's down. Uh, what's his name? Quincy down. But I think if we can take care of... Man, we, we have missed a lot in this battle. We've missed a lot of attacks. Uh, just gonna that's just so much missing we're gonna aoe because we have the debilitate which is really huge so we want to keep her pep down because we don't want her to lose that buff immunity until after we've taken care of this the rest we could auto battle scarlet is scarlet is not 1v4ing this team so this team as we can see this ice station ic team does work really well against the old meta which is Pirates and Wu, which, by the way, is still viable in Arena. Let's see how they do against some of the newer teams. Okay, our next battle. Hmm. Do we want to take on this Spooky Magistos Tower team or Ninjago? Let's take on the Spooky Magistos Tower team first and see how we can do it here. Same squad, same type of strategy. What you really want to do is because, I mean, Quincy is so fast. You want to pick out someone with Magisto you can clumsy, like a big hitter. And then just follow it up with Quincy's trying to get that buff immunity. So I am going to I'm gonna go for the first hit. I want the clumsy on. I don't get it. Oh, man. Strategy out the window because I got clumsy. So, yeah, nothing I could do there. But just try to spread the damage out as much as possible. Um... Yeah, I'm going to throw that on him. Oh, man. That was exactly what we didn't want to happen. Oh, no wait. He didn't taunt. So, yikes. What do we do here? Well, I guess we're... He healed. I got to gotta get my boy Quincy alive. You know, I got to keep Quincy going. This is crazy because... All right, she's got two... He's got a three. We got to go for the heal on Quincy, you know? We need some HP back. I have to actually put damage block on Quincy because he got rocked early on. But he's still alive. He's taking zero damage. He's got payback, which is really nice. Uh, not going to do that just yet with Magisto. This is a good team. Yeah, it's pretty heavy magical. Magical spooky mix, which... Oh, man. I, I feel like... You still want to get that buff immunity on Willa, and it failed. Oh man, this has been, this is one epic failure, but it is not over yet. That's the thing about Ghost. Oh, wow. Yikes. That's gonna be, this is over. That's the thing about Ghost, though. It makes Basil a little easier to get around because you just knock Basil out of health and he loses his taunt. Man, was this just a strategy blunder or... Well, honestly, I, I blame it on RNG. I got clumsied first. It's, it's all random, too. But this is also the meta <laughs> right now, so... But we're definitely gonna... We're gonna run this back. Yeah, we're gonna run this back. All right, it looks like that team actually got away from us this time. But you know what? Let's do against this. Let's see how they do against this all-castle trader transport team, which is an interesting team to see run. Uh, you don't see a lot of all-castle in Arena. I did a couple free-to-play castle videos with the tower and with Guarded Inn. I think they're best with Guarded Inn if you're going to run all-castle. But trader transport, that's an interesting, interesting choice because there's only one spooky figure. Um... I feel like you wanna try to you wanna try to clumsy. Jeez, man, that Magisto's clumsy. How did I hit that? 
I was clumsy. I'm gonna tell you what, this game makes no sense sometimes. Uh, what we don't want is Burnabas taunting, but okay, well. Rule of thumb with Castle. Get rid of Jester Gogo as quickly as humanly possible. Go for it. We gotta heal. We want Jester Gogo out of the picture. And we're going to taunt, try to protect everyone else. And then we're going to, we're going to blast them with Magisto's ult. We always want to follow, we don't want to use Yeti's ult until after Magisto's gotten his ult. You know, we want them to be a one-two combo because look at that. I got one, two dizzies. Those are two stuns that are about to happen. Uh, nope, we got three stuns that are about to go. It's about... I should have waited, uh, but whatever. Oh, man, this is going to... This is going to get messy. Oh, oh th that sucks though. So all of their, all of the dizzies went away. And this happens too much. It happens more than not, you know? That's all right, we'll give them some payback. Just let them thromp over everyone. Oh, that stinks. Oh man, that was that's really bad. I mean, we're gonna win easily, but still, like that's just annoying. We're gonna go on Basil just to get that little bit of extra healing. Come on, go on Burnabas. Make sure that he's still taunting, so I have a chance to kill him. That's just like really obnoxious and annoying the way that that went down. Keep everybody, keep everybody nice and healthy. I could probably just auto battle this. I think this is an easy win. Castle obviously can't hang with this Ice Station Odyssey team. I mean, I say that, but they're clearly hanging. Well, you know what it is. Classic castle. They just don't do enough damage to really be useful. And I mean, with all the, the defense buffs and things of that nature, it's kind of hard to, to get it. Like, this is, a, this is a tough team to deal with. Uh, I feel like they're probably not as good on defense because obviously we know Kelvin, Kelvin, Yeti, they just have AI issues. So, I mean, this would not be my, hey, this is the best team to run in the meta because it's not. Uh, they, clearly there's AI issues on defense you're going to have to deal with with this squad. But on offense, this is a good team. You know, it lacks... Uh, I have to actually auto because I've timed out with, with this team before. <laughs> oh my gosh. If I time out, I'm going to flip. Please, somebody finish this. Okay. Yeah, I, I've timed out before because it's just like, they're kind of a slow burner team. So they're, they're definitely tough to deal with on defense, I feel like. But I think the AI is so stupid. It really doesn't make too much of a difference. Uh, that was a lot closer than it should have been. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's see how they do. I mean, hey, we wanted that rematch. Or do I want to just 
uh, gain a little ground here and go up against Ghostbusters. Hmm. Let's go for the rematch. I don't think Ghostbusters are going anywhere. The thing is, we might fall if we don't win this match. So, I mean, honestly, you sh we should have went for Ghostbusters in terms of an arena climb. But we're just trying to get as many wins as possible. Uh, and we're trying to, do, you know, if I wasn't doing a video on this, I would have not went for this team. Oh man, the RNG! That's two times. Go for the big hit on Master Wu. They have just so much. This is a really tough team to deal with. Um, I don't want to heal just yet. <sighs> Not yet. Not yet. What? Why? Why? Is there something in Magisto's Tower that now gives Dodge up? Like, is is there something I'm missing that they just? Yikes. Okay, well, gotta hear you. Come on, Quincy, stay alive, baby. All right, I'm gonna put it on. Yeah, I'm gonna save it. Oh, it there's just no way around it. This would work so great if you could get that first um, buff immunity on Willa. When you, when you miss it twice in two matches, you're kind of, you have nothing you can do. Because this is what happens. Like, you can't let a Magistos Tower team like this get to the late game. Because it's 5v5 and they have taken no damage because they're so well healed. Like, I don't see a way around this. I mean, I do actually see a way around it. But my Yeti is permanently stunned. So I have perma stun on Yeti. I've not once been able to proc in two battles to proc that. Um... Like Yeti hasn't gone. Why is he perpetually just got to be stunned in this battle? Yeah, wow. Okay, this is a team I wouldn't mess with with Ice Station Odyssey. Avoid at all costs. There's just no way around it. Like, I'm gonna play it out and see how it goes. But literally, there's no way, like, I don't know. I, I know, I know I can beat this team because I've beaten this team with this team before. But it is impossible to do that if Quincy's gonna miss and not get that. You need that buff immunity with Quincy. So yeah, you're depending a little bit on RNG, but the comp is there. The comp is there. You can do this with this team. We are gonna win, the, before the end of this video, that match is gonna be won. Okay, we're back with another battle. We didn't drop, which is good, um, but I'm gonna go for the Ghostbusters. I wanna go for the big jump. And also I wanted to show how this team could just trance all over Ghostbusters. But honestly, what team on offense can't trounce all over Ghostbusters? Probably the worst team in arena on defense. Watch me lose this one handedly. Uh, but I think I just outspeed them. Obviously you want your Thunderbolt on Egon. At least to get the disarm, if not the disarm and clumsy. And hopefully, yeah. Notice how it connects to Winston and... Buff immunities him, and on Willa does nothing. So it makes no sense to me why that works like that. Uh, let's try to avoid the... Okay, that didn't work. I wanted to try to uh, bring Slimer's pep down, because you do want to avoid getting speed downed. Uh, but with this set, you are a little faster, so it's okay. Rule of thumb with Ghostbusters. And this is for anybody facing a Ghostbusters team. Kill Egon. 
Once you kill Egon, things are not as bad. Uh, I'm at least going to throw him under stealth if I can. Oof, do I want to waste this? And I'm not going to. Yeah, because he's dead. So, I mean, that's not good. You don't want to lose your Magisto super early on. But, you know what? Let's take advantage of this speed down and taunt. And that's right. I said take advantage of the speed down. You definitely want to taunt when you have speed down. Oh, that counter, though. That Yeti payback is... Honestly, it's a devas It's devastating. Like, he's literally, like, one... Like, soloing this team. Bam, he's done. Uh, you know, let's just do it. We don't have any Dizzy on them, but... Let's just get the biggest possible hit. Try to get Vankman out of our way. And I love, love the debilitate. What we do here is go back, back, back. Man, Yeti with payback is... That's just brutal. So everything that you're seeing work, like in tandem, right? I could auto battle this. Like this team on all cylinders really, really works. But when you get that poor RNG in the beginning and for some reason things just don't proc, which seems to happen against that team we faced in the last battle. Yeah, things go downhill. But I think that's with any team when things just don't go your way. And this is just that type of game. But yeah, again... I always love to throw a Ghostbusters battle in there because it always makes any team I'm playing look really good. And honestly, it is something that people are running in Arena. So you gotta be ready to face those Ghostbusters. All right, we got some of these spooky teams we could deal with, but you know what? Let's deal with something we haven't seen yet. Let's see how we do against this Ninjago Magistos Tower team. Uh, something I've definitely covered a lot of, Magistos Tower. And they had a whole, like, I think four-part series on it. And there's probably still more you can do. I even did a Yeti in the tower. Um, <clears throat> okay, just to get the maximum efficiency, Thunderbolt on Jay. That's going to be a miss. Uh, let's try to get the buff immunity on Garbodon. That's going to be a double miss. So we're in a really bad situation right out the gates. The only things that could probably have helped us really accomplish anything in this battle was that and now we're just gonna go we're gonna go hard after lloyd because we don't really have a choice we're gonna go real hard after lloyd big hit from yeti um just uh, let's uh yeah he's gonna uh he's gonna heal himself he's gotta heal we're gonna go hard after lloyd man like Tell you what, man, RNG in this game. So, like, we could have crippled, we could have crippled Jay. Now we're dead, right? We're dead because of some stupid dodge. God, I despise this game sometimes. This game puts me on full tilt with the dodge mechanic. Right, because this was a match we could easily have been in complete control. I could have Garmadon dead. I could have Jay like crippled and dealt with. Instead, I'm dead. Match over. I ah, definite, definite rematch at that number 15 spot. I am. I'm on full tilt right now. I'm on full tilt right now with this game. Ugh, this game really. Debs, fix this. I hope. I pray every day. I wake up, take out a Bible, and pray that they fix the dodge mechanic in this game. Wow, off to a great start. I swear, I swear. Okay. We have some control over what's going on right now. Because at least I can get rid of Garmadon. Maybe not. Hmm... This game is so bad.
It is insane how much one dodge changes the game. You gotta be kidding me. Oh boy, okay. Yikes, okay, yeah, this match is over. We're done, we're done here. We're done, video's over, done. Okay, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't end a video on full tilt. I need another rematch. This is really, uh, this game, man. I'm, they're supposed to have to do some like fixes. I really hope the dodge mechanic is, is just taken out. Like there's no more dodge without dodgy or dodge up. Like it move, it, it, sh it should be like in Pokemon, right? Like a move is, if it's 100% to hit, it's 100% to hit unless you have accuracy down or dodge up or evasion or something. Like now we're gonna see what's gonna happen with all the cards in our hand. All right, there you go, another dodge. All right, we're not gonna, we're, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna play it a little more strategic because we don't want Garmadon to, uh, we, we don't want him to blow that. Uh, we don't want him to heal. There, bam. Now we're now we're in control. Now we are calling the shots here. Granted, we are not too healthy right now. Like that's how the, that's how the game should work. Like I'm using abilities. Like let the, the game does not promote strategy when it's so RNG based. It it honestly it punishes you for being strategic. I still might lose. There's a really good chance I lose. Okay, this is... These back-to-back -back ults are gonna be huge. If I can get a big stun on everyone. All right, so Wu and Magisto currently are... Magisto is gonna get to go before Yeti though, so Magisto is not going to be... But you know, we're gonna get that Dizzy on Jay. Okay. Let's heal. Let's go. This this is intense. This is intensity. Oh man, we're not gonna be able to get it. We're not gonna be able to stun. Let's get the big hit on him as soon as we can. Oh nice. Let's go, baby. Double stun. So J and Wu should be stunned. Huge, huge, humongous. You know what? We'll take it, we'll take it. As long as nobody dies here from this ultimate. Nice. Dude, man, Jay's gotta be dead from that. Like, come on, that's ridiculous. Bam, double kill right there with Yeti. Huge, huge. This is how the battles should be going with this Ice Station Odyssey team. That's my problem with this team and with this game in general is a little bit of bad luck can really just screw ya. That's all right, because we got AOEs coming. Oh man, but I kinda gotta, I kinda gotta heal. I feel like Yeti is the most important member of this team right now. Gotta take care of my boy, the Yet. The thing is now there, Magisto's gonna heal himself and give himself Hardy back, it just stinks. Oh no, nice. Must have gotten, must have gotten defeated by a damage over time. Bam, this is looking good. 59 seconds left. 
you know, we all know Magisto's tower is annoying and, and just hard to deal with. And what really puts me on tilt for this game, what really puts me on tilt is that when you know, when you lose a battle in like two rounds because your first two attacks miss, all right, it's that kind of game where if you miss your first two attacks, yeah, you lose. And then you have to wait eight more minutes to do another battle. To me, that is just ridiculous. We're actually going to do another refresh though. Because we want it. We want to keep this video going. Oh man, who do I want to face? This number 12 team is the best team in the game, in my opinion. Uh, maybe, actually no, I think that this is the best team in the game, in my opinion. Spooky with Gorwell. Uh, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna take them out. We're gonna we're gonna take them down. Bam. They're going down. So the good thing is, if everything works out, we can target down Willa. Get the you know you get her health low. Basil will heal before he taunts. Come on, get both hits. Bam. This game is gonna be a wrap. You know what, we'll make sure Basil doesn't heal yet. If I can get my Yeti hit in. Come on, baby. Come on, Yeti. Okay, so he got to go first. Um, we're not gonna do that yet. We're gonna taunt. Yes, we are. We're gonna taunt. And we're gonna heal. We got a little bit of healing going on. Oh, okay, that's not good. That's it. Yeti dies, you're pretty much done. Yeti is your offense. So taunting was a bad idea. Tell you what, playing this game Downloading this game was a bad idea right now, in my, in my perspective, because I hate this so much. Great, one kill, that means nothing. Another guy that's going to come right back. Oh, boy. All right, well, this one's over as well. One more, one more match. We're doing this again. We're taking this team to number one. I know we can win matches with this. It probably doesn't reflect well on the video that I have to do three or four tries to win a match. But, I mean, literally, this is not a meta team. I just wanted to show what this team can do in Arena. You can win with it. There is a strategy. It just kind of stinks that, um, you know, your strategy gets thrown out the window when you, when you miss attacks. Bam, we're gonna lightning bolt her. Get her clumsied. I'm wondering, like, why is Ghost not procking? There we go. Oh my god, that's filthy. Yeah, I don't think this team is actually beatable with uh, with with this squad. Their damage output is filthy. Ghost and Slimer together? What star Slimer is this? This is a seven star Slimer. No wonder I'm getting my butt handed to me. His attack is like probably like a billion. Yeah, no, this is a loss. This is easily a loss. But you know what? Okay, so this team, they can definitely function in Arena, but you're not going to get past these spooky teams. It's just not going to happen. Well, that's pretty much all I got for today, Knuckleheads. Please remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, ding that little bell for some notifications, and as always, remember to get your butt kicked and knuckle up. Yeah,